Political battle. Trouble looms has caught off a big drop's dangerous message about justice. We'll go see what is said that shocks Nigerians. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Court of Appeal has firmly discredited the news circulating on social media, which suggested that a member of the panel responsible for handling petitions regarding the February 25th presidential elections had resigned. The Chief Registrar, Umar Mohamed Bangari, personally reflected the claims using the public to disregard the, the false information. A Twitter user named Omar Sani had made the allegation asserting that Justice Ugo, a former a member of the five-man panel, resigned due to concerns that favoring Bola Tinubu against those challenging his electoral victory would seriously Modernize Nigerian democracy. According to Sani, the judge stated in a letter that he was pressured to compromise the judiciary's independence by ruling in favor of a specific candidate, presumably Tinubu. Omar Sani's claims about Justice Ugo's resignation caused significant turmoil and setbacks for the activities of the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, as it cast doubt on the court's integrity. It is worth noting that even the Supreme Court on a previous occasion reflected rumors surrounding Bola Tinubu dining any phone conversation between the Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN, Ulukayo de Ariwala and Tinubu regarding the outcome of the presidential election petitions. The Director of Press and Information, Dr. Akinde Feisters, released a statement in Abuja to clarify that such rumors were entirely baseless and false. The statement from the Supreme Court emphasized the importance of avoiding rumors and speculations urging the public to follow the proceedings of the tribunal diligently. It emphasized that the judiciary's primary objective to, the, to serve the best interest of the people and any attempt to spread falsehood and misleading will be counterproductive, counterproductive to the nation's progress. Therefore, it is crucial for everyone to cooperate with the judiciary and refrain from engaging in the dissemination of unverified information. Church swordy sources and official statements should be sought out to ensure accuracy and reliability in staying informed about legal proceedings and other matters of public interest. By doing so, we can foster a well-informed and reasonable society that upholds the principles of truth and transparency. Okay. So guys, what's your take on this? In a storming and unexpected turn of events, Nigeria Court of Appeal has categorically denounced the report, the reported resignation of one of its esteemed members Justice Ugo, dismissing it as nothing more than false and misleading information. The shocking revelation is made through a statement issued by the Chief Registrar of the Court, Malam Umar Mohamed Bangari, who frequently appealed to the public to disregard the, the claims in their entirety. Speaking to journalists in Abuja on Thursday, Bangari vehemently reflected the widespread news surrounding the alleged resignation of Justice Ugo from the prestigious 
Presidential Election Petition Court, EEPC. The news of the purported resignation sent shockwaves through the nation when it emerged earlier today, rapidly spreading across the internet like wildfire. According to the online report, Justice Ugo cited demand from the executive branch as a compelling reason for his resignation. These alleged demands were believed to have the potential to wreak havoc on the country's democracy, led Justice Ugo, leading Justice Ugo to make an unprecedented decision. In a statement purportedly released by Justice Ugo, he, he expressed grave concerns about the integrity of Nigeria's democracy, asserting that aligned with the government on the petitions challenging the court of law, would um of law please pardon me challenging the election of Bola Metinubu would be done tumult to the death of Nigerian democracy. His heartfelt de declaration indicated that he could not in good conscience remain silent in the face of what he perceived as a threat to the nation's fundamental values. However, the chief registrar was quick to set the record straight, clarifying that Justice Ugo is still an active member of the panel of justice presiding over the petitions lodged by the Alid Movement, Alid People's Movement, APM, the Labour Party, and the, the People's Democratic Party, PDP. The parties, along with their respective presidential candidates, have been fervently challenging the declaration of Bola May Tinubu as the winner of the February 25th presidential election. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.